Scott, and thanks for tuning in to Me and My Golf TV. I'm Piers Ward, you've joined us here in Bermuda. Yes, we've never been here before, have we? In the winter, look at this. In the winter, this is January, middle of January, and we're here playing some fantastic golf courses, so make sure you check out the rest of those. This is part one, and you've got the Golf Bay Golf and Country Club, the oldest golf course in Bermuda. It's not the longest, but I've heard this is very tricky. Mm. need to be straight. Yeah, I'm going to go to five, need to be straight, and we need to be short. Sure. Okay, so we're starting on the seventh hole here, Riddles Bay, um, which is the only par five on the golf course. So we've got a 471, straight down. Uh, winds a bit off the right, maybe. So uh, we've obviously got the ocean to the side here. Beautiful. And Pierce is up first, going with the driver. Let's get off to a good start, can we? And he's absolutely ripped that straight down the middle with a little bit of draw coming down around about the middle of the screen there, guys. So, uh, beautiful I'm start. I'm done. There we go. No more. No more all day. No more shots now. Okay, so as Andy said, tee shot down there somewhere in the middle. Didn't see it land. Right up here. Quite a strong wind off the right. Not as strong as it was yesterday. We didn't play yesterday, but it was really strong yesterday. Driver at the right hand side, I'm sure. Let the breeze bring it back. I didn't see that, Andy. Left. You're looking a bit left. Left. I'm further left, that one. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I didn't see that. I saw you looking left, but I couldn't see it. I'm left and a little bit further left around the corner, so. Ah. Not sure. I hope it opens out over there. That's all I'll say about that one. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Okay, now we said it was windy here, but we didn't think that Andy was going to hit his tee shots. 450, 450 yards just short of the flag. Oh no, it's not that one, sorry. It's all the way down there. <laughs> what you got, Andy? 200? Uh, 190? Yeah, 200, yeah. Okay. Wind off the right, so I'm going to go with the 6. Okay, so 6 iron. Push it out to the right, let the wind do its job all that through. 6 iron over this sort of area here, that sort of gap will move nicely. And apologies for the wind. It is pretty windy here. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah. Probably won't have much in there. Probably only have about a 20, 30 yard pitch. Uh, I think it's up there near the green. On like Maybe even like high. on it. A bit I'm trying to throw him off here. <laughs> He's not having his go. Okay, great drive there, Pierce. Thank you. 163 left. I think this par five look uh, pretty small, actually. What yeah, you got? Uh, I'm going to go nine. I don't want to whack it, knock it up in the air, because it's going to go a little bit further. So I'm thinking nine. Hit it a little soft to keep it down, let the wind not have so much effect on it. I think okay. yours is past the bunker, isn't it? Yep. What you were saying, yeah, so. yeah, mine's up there easily. I don't need to snap. Wind off the right a little bit as well, so helping off the right. Oh, that's a... <laughs> it's a little off the bottom. <laughs> Heading towards that bunker, similar there. So not Pierce's best strike there. It's the fairways are so nice I didn't want to mark them. Was that what it was? Okay, so Pierce just uh, made the front of the bunker there. He's got an interesting chip there. Chip. He's got an interesting bunker shot down to these very small greens. The green sort of runs away from him. Um, so he just needs to sort of get it just on the front and let the uh, let the ball just trickle down. So all good stance. He's going to be placing a little bit more weight on his front leg, making sure he stays with plenty of weight on the lead leg and keeps his, his posture really. Played that nice. Stop! Played that nice, hit the hole. Not quite there, let's see. Not bad that from there, tricky, uh, awkward lie. It's always tricky in those situations just to get that right contact, but still got a birdie putt, which is the important thing. Okay, so you can see Andy's around about five or six paces from the front of the green. Wants to be landing on this front portion here. All downhill and downwind, Andy. Make it short, that was typically the short, but. Makes it hard, doesn't it, when you're doing that, when you've got downhill shot, downwind, 
on beautiful slick greens. Oh, 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 that's the birdie, that's the important thing. That's the one thing you have got. Um, probably about a 15 footer, maybe a bit longer. Up the hill. I think he's doing too much uh, in terms of the, um, the line, but be fairly aggressive with this one. Sort of dives off to the right a little bit there as well, so he's got a dive off the right but open lovely. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of right to left on this one. Shouldn't really be a problem this one. The back of the hole. Good five there, Pierce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll be disappointed with that after the first tee, but yes. I told you I was done, that was my first shot, it was done, I'm good. Okay, so you fancy this one, not much going on. Maybe a little off the left, but... Okay. Full birdie, full birdie. Oh, look at that. Go. He's rolled it straight in the yeah, hole. Other than that one, you know, I have that feeling where you just feel good in your confident stroke. Birdie start. Don't start knocking putts in all the time, Andy. Hey, we're playing Shields and Finch soon, so it's probably not a bad idea, that, is it? Yeah, well, this is just our preparation to build up for those. For those, yeah. They're full-time golfers, much. they are. They're, They're full-time right. golfers, aren't they? And we don't play golf at all now. Tricky, uh, tricky match against them. Yeah. Right, we're on the 8th tee. And you're probably wondering where Andy is aiming. Because the fairway is um, somewhere down here. But the green... It's here. What we got, Scott, on the yard is 300. 300 to carry it there, yeah? So 300 to carry it, but it is down the breeze. We go. <laughs> elevated. And we are well elevated. The lighthouse has got to be the... the uh... Big lighthouse there. Might be tricky for you to see. There you go. There's a the lighthouse. That is line. So with a slight bit of fade, you're going to yeah, let it just... Sort of... so the lighthouse, see if we can work it back a little bit. Yeah, this is a pretty impressive looking hole. Just going back into the sun so you can't quite see how impressive it is. Let's see what this man can do. Fresh off a of birdie. So his left side, really good hit actually. Probably needs to, might need to sit down on that line at it. Not sure on that one. Not sure. <laughs> so it's either, it's either. Left of the lighthouse, but I'd say. I'd say I'd be alright there. Yeah, you always say that and it doesn't matter at all, does it? I'm, yeah. fine, over, I'm fine over there. Right then, Pierce? I'm going to go further. I'm going to go right of where you're intending to go. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to go right at it. I'm going to go right at the flag. We're right in the middle of the green. Right in the middle of the green. Right in the middle of the green. Right the middle of the it's makeable today. Downwind. Do you don't need to hit it that hard. Just got to get it up there. Okay. You might need to hit it a, bit hard, a little bit harder than me. It's obviously very weak. Started it left corner of the green. Fine. I think that's going to be yep down there, sort of just left of the green. But like you say, I think there's a bunker down there, green side bunker. I think you're going to be alright. Long bunk shot, a long tip and run. Okay, apologies there. The camera just cut off, so um, we're back on track. And Pierce, hopefully, we'll find his ball. Ball into that tree, pulled out that big. Branch. It must have stopped it from going like 360. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe that was the wind from yesterday. Right, so you're okay here. You've got a 50 yard, 50 yard pitch to the Plenty flag. To work Plenty of room to work with. Sorry the about that. The wind will affect it, but still slightly on the shot. Yeah, so wind will affect your pitch shots, especially here. It's exposed. We're around 15, 20 feet right the flag. Happy with that? Now there's a vicious room you said that my ball is down there somewhere through by the tee. Oh thanks. Okay, so Pierce has a better 35 to 40 yard shot. I'll show you here over the bunker. It's a flag there, so I've took back. He's gonna probably aim about my ball because the wind will still affect it. It's picked up a bit there, so. Pierce has, as we said, about a 25 foot.
footer. Did off there, yeah. So I think I think Pierce has got a little bit of right to left on this. I think it starts a little left to right, but then works back from right to left. The wind's pushing it again to the left as well. So he's aiming a little right. Good. It looks good. Oh, good effort. Good effort. Oh. Tuck that in. Fine with me. All right. So Andy, really good shot for distance control. Just saying to Andy off camera before it hit mine. I missed the grooves out of the toe of mine. Just would not get up in the air. I think that's we're going to get out this rough thick. Go new to right rough. Andy for birdie. Two in a row, two in a row, two in a row, no problem. Easy game, isn't it? Easy game. Why do people make it hard? You know, it's always easy when the putts roll, isn't it? Mm. You must be lucky. There we go, there's the end of part one, Andy. What a 